Привет! And welcome to Reload Dutch Russian Black Metal Review. This one is Second to Sun with the album called The Walk. This is actually already quite a few years old, because when this came to me as a review album, it was already late then, and it has been on the queue for very, very long. That is, like two years now. But like the saying goes, art really doesn't get old. I mean, it's always right there, good or bad. And you really don't listen to metal anyway, because it's a kind of a trend thing. That's at least what I hope it to be, or that's how I consider it to be. So two years, five years, ten years, doesn't really matter. Now it was time to take this one out of my review queue and give it a proper listen and a review, because, I mean, it has been waiting for its time for quite some time. And I feel like it's time to talk about it before it gets too old even though it's kind of impossible. But anyway, uh, newer ones have to wait sometimes that it, I get to do these. So this is a Russian band that has been there quite a few years, and they have already released quite a few albums after this one, but be it as may, I'm here to talk about this, The Walk. As you can see, two, through 10 years, the band has been since 2011, and started as seems raw black metal, and later on becoming like post-black groove metal. I guess I haven't heard those later ones, because this is very much black metal album, but not your typical one. Anyway, if you just, you know, browse the list, you will see that lots of singles with these bands, even quite a few full-length albums. So uh, there's been a lot going on. Curiously enough, in 2018, when this walk was released, there was also an instrumental edition and one year later, legacy album with also an instrumental edition. So like the double albums, basically, uh, one with being instrumental. And later on, same happened with Leviathan last year, 2020. So I'm here to talk about this album called The Walk from 2018. Now this is a curious thing because lots of things on this album are exactly black metal. You know, fast tempo, quite vicious in style, somewhat aggressive, but also quite of a weird melodies. I mean, some of these riffs and melodies are like from another genre, which makes this album rather captivating because it's not really your textbook Norse black metal album made by some other band, not from Norway. So more like... The sun is going to places which combines the common with the less known. Well, uncommon in, in terms. And sometimes it's very, very refreshing because some of the ideas are really like, hey, this is really cool. Now, some parts are not that great. I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, more like, uh, what, what the hell is happening here? So overall, this album becomes more like a rather decent release, quite nice to listen to, but some of the parts are more like, I would rather skip them or remove them altogether. Like I said, they're not that bad, but they're kind of a mediocre, which makes this album more like a combination of good ideas, decent ideas, and, well, those mediocre ones. Sound-wise, you know, the production and all, it's pretty decent, once again, and there are some rather atypical, screamier parts. Well, at least not the kind of the most common ones in black metal which results this album being very, very interesting, but not always too likable. So, like I said, it's quite decent, very listenable, just a little bit weird, I guess. So I can really go with the 92% review and say, like, yeah, this is one of the best albums of 2018, but more like one of the more interesting and refreshing ones from 2018, just not among the best. Um, like I said, it's three years, well, two years and then some old, and um, still worth listening to. You will find some links in the description box, so click it a click, and I hope you give it a chance. At least it's not your typical Nordic black metal release, but something else from Russia with love. And should you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments box below, and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.